This is the iPort dock. What we're going to do is just uh, get all the pieces and hook them up so you know how to connect everything. It should be very simple. This is the plate with the circuit board and the connector in the back. <clears throat> this is the, the dock frame that goes in the back. This is the audio input plate. This is the power supply. Comes with a cord that plugs into here. And then you got your power cord. You plug this into the power outlet. And this piece here plugs into the back of that power supply. So well, let's do that now. when you plug it in the green light should turn on there's the green light then you want to connect this guy to this guy so on the back you don't have to have this powered up right now but you can just we can unplug it but just make sure the green light is on to indicate that there's power. <clears throat> but on this guy, you got a RJ45 connector. And on this guy, you have the other RJ45 connector. And what you're going to do is you're going to connect this jumper cable from here to here. Okay, so now these two devices are connected. You got the power now connects to the plate, like so. Okay, so you got the power connected to the plate and the plate connected to the dock. Now, <clears throat> this is very um, simple to do, but critical to make sure that this plate slips in to this dock very straight and level. If it goes in crooked, those pins down in there, right there, that pin connector, and this pin connector here won't match up and you might bend those little pins so just make sure you go in straight and it should guide itself so this circuit board is going to rest on these little rails here if you can see that this rail here and this rail the circuit board should rest on there and slide right in and so make sure that this dock goes in evenly, not like this or like this, but straight. Okay, and that should just snap right in. Okay, and it's that simple. So your iDock is now connected, powered up, and you, the only last thing you're going to need to make is the audio connection. If you can notice those connectors there, you should have a pair of wires audio RCA cables that would plug in to this plate. So let me put this video monitor down here. Okay, so that's the finished connection there. The other end of this cable should connect to your sound system, which is this end. Uh, you should have a mixer uh, that you should be able to plug into, uh, which is typically the priority input on the CP64. Okay? Thanks.